somebody's an idiot. Hey, hey, look at that. That's what you get when you let monkeys mess around with RGB. Interesting, it's upside down. <laughs> I'd be kind of tempted to just leave it like this. <laughs> I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of having all my I.O. right at the top of the case, so you'd probably have to make some sort of a cover for that just to hide all that junk. I just think it's a little bit silly that the uh, InWin logo on this thing, when you have to install it, is upside down unless you flip the whole case over. Silly InWin. I'm guessing they're reusing these from somewhere else. Put all four screws in. It's a little bit tight still, but I think you could easily fix that when you fix the screw alignment because these little um, holes for the screws also have a little bit of raised area around them. So I think you could take care of that whenever you you know, do that modification. Uh, technically, I guess this screws in, so you could easily move that somewhere else if you wanted to. So I guess that would get rid of that problem as well, but. All right. Okay, so there you go. Your radiator is in the bottom. And where those ports end up are about here and here. So they're, they're up there a ways. And so I think that would actually fit with a good number of graphics cards. All right, so full-size fan fits. Graphics card. Not, not so much. <laughs> so obviously that's not gonna work. But you've got a 240 millimeter fan in there. So what about a graphics card with a water block on it? Now I would probably recommend getting a different water block, one that doesn't have this plenum sticking down like this MK block, but ha ha, look at that. Now you got room. Of course, that's pretty close. So what I would probably end up doing would be using slim fans, just to give you a little bit more breathing room. So that actually works space-wise with, like I said, this graphics card with that block from EK, it hits it. So uh, let's get that wherever it would be. Well. Actually, I guess technically there's a little bit of clearance, but with fittings and stuff, that's, that's getting pretty dang tight. So I'd probably use a different graphics card block that doesn't have quite such a large thing sticking out this, this side face here. But anyway, point is, with a graphics card with a water block on it, you can fit slim fans easily, standard fans okay, and I think it would still leave you enough room to put a radiator here as well. Like I said, you're not really gonna be able to get a radiator up there because there's just not enough room under a graphics card, unless you have a short graphics card. If you have a short graphics card, well, maybe you could fit a radiator there. It, I don't really know what I would do with the pump. That seems to always be the issue with these sorts of things, but maybe if you had like a reservoir pump combo and maybe you could mount it like up here on the front wall of the thing or something like that. But um, I guess technically you could maybe use just a, like one of those pump, the pump block combos. Um, might get a little tricky. Probably not the best case to try and water cool, but it'd be a lot of fun, don't you think? Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> and a little bit of movie magic here. Maybe a little less movie magic. Remember that thing that I said about, you know, check to make sure your RGB strips and your header are uh, lined up the right way? Yeah, you should do that when you don't use the header too. Yeah, you should probably make sure that you check that when you're using that little adapter. And somebody's an idiot. Hey, hey, look at that. That's what you get when you let monkeys mess around with RGB. All right.
And then you also get a bracket. What's the bracket for, you ask? I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to figure that out. And then you get the world's tiniest owner's manual. It's a QR code to get the user manual. I guess it's not really a bad thing because honestly, how many people actually read the user's manual? Um, probably not too many, but I, I'm one of those people that actually do like looking at the user manual just because it seems like, you know, sometimes you just like to go through that kind of thing to see what it's capable of doing, what it, what it can do, what it's thinking you should do, what a bracket like this is for. It's probably for something stupid and easy that I'm just being dense. All right, let's see if we can figure out what that bracket is for. C, letter C, is graphics card holder times one. And then let's see if we can figure out what those little rubber strips were. Letter E, anti-slip strips. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. So you can put those on the bottom here if you wanted to have rubber case feet. You have these little rubber pieces here. Easy enough. See, manuals come in handy sometimes. Just don't tell anybody I was reading the manual. 